right, good evening. This is Pat at Pat's Car Corner, and it is Therapy Thursday, and we're back. So I missed last week, <clears throat> excuse me, because I was on my way to a stamping retreat for a little therapy of my own. And But now I'm back, and I've got something fun for you today. So um, as soon as I can get it up here. There we go. Now I can see your comments. So, um, if you, I'm going to move my thing here a little bit, trying to get it up. So if you're watching, I hope you will say hi, let me know you're here, and we are going to get started. So, this week, um, I have kind of a fun card for you, but I'm going to show you two versions. And one, if you saw my, um, post earlier about what supplies you are needed. I talked about non-directional paper and directional paper, and there's a reason for that, and that is because of how we are, trying to get my shadow away, um, how we're gonna be folding our paper. So the first paper that I'm going to use is gonna be non-directional on both sides. So, um, I'm going to show you the paper. The paper I'm using is called um, Peaceful Place, and it it has um, a lot of black and white patterns, or gray, and then there's some silver, like this. I don't know if you can see. You can see it's shiny, or not, like the trees are shiny. They look a little shiny on there. And then there's other trees like this. There's some cabins in the woods, which you can cut out and put on your some of the other um, pieces. Like you could cut out one of these little cabins, put it on a piece of with this, It'd be really cute. And then there's this piece that if you saw my blog earlier this week, you need to go back and look because I this piece you can divide into four and you can make fun four projects out of that. So you need to go check that out um, if you want. But on the other side, are a bunch of just um, patterns. And some of them, like this one, is directional, and some, like this checked, is not. And the paper we're using today, this one, is this piece. It's got stars on one side, or not stars, they're snowflakes. Snowflakes on one side. Um, and then the other side is this um, pretty buffalo check. So, hey Laura, hey Meg, it's good to see you both. So, Oh, it's nice to know that I was missed. So, um, yeah, I had this all planned, and then I forgot that I was leaving Thursday night, and I wouldn't be able to be online, so um, can't um, do Facebook in the car, so not when you're driving anyway. So, anyway, so this is what we're going to do. So, I'm using this piece. It is non-directional on both sides. Obviously, you can turn this one this way, and it works, or this way. Same with this one. So this is the piece we're going to use. This is five and a quarter by five and a quarter by twelve. So this is a pretty big, but we're going to be doing a little bit of scoring and a little bit of cutting. Then the next piece you're going to need is this piece. I'm using um, basic white. This is going to be kind of the background of our card, and this is five and a half by four and a quarter, which is going to be the finished size of our card. So we need that piece. It's actually going to go this way because our card is going this, this direction. Then you're going to need a piece of, why do I need this piece? Oh yeah, I remember. My brain is just kind of in a little fog here. This piece is four and three quarters, which goes this way, four and three quarters by three and a half. This piece is a piece that we're going to mat behind there, which is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. They're going to be layered on top of each other. And then I have some very pretty. This is part of the silver specialty paper. So it's obviously silver foil and it's a little shiny. So this is what is going to make our cards um, elegant. So that I. I think I told you these are easy and elegant cards. So um, they are. This piece is five and a quarter by one and a half. This piece is a scrap piece, um, which 
is about three by two, but I die cut two snowflakes from the stitched snowflakes. I die cut, oh, there they are, they're on the back, because there's a lot of snowflakes in this set. Um, these two little ones here, because I needed something small. So they will both fit on this piece, so that's why I have an extra piece there. And then we also need another piece of basic white that is five and a quarter by one and a quarter. So those are the pieces that we need. And I am going to be using, as soon as I find it, yep, there it is. This stamp set for my sentiments, and I'm, this is going to be a Christmas card. So the other card that I'm going to do in a, in a minute that has directional paper, um, I'm also going to use a stamp set, but I'm, it's going to be look more like a Thanksgiving card. So I'm going to use the much gratitude, but this is the stamp set. Um, it's great because it's got all kinds of sentiments on it that you can use um, pretty much all fall. So let's get started. So I'm going to move these pieces out of the way so that we can play with this piece right here. So you are going to need your paper trimmer to use this piece. And I need to turn mine this way because that's the way my brain thinks. Okay, so this piece is five and a quarter by 12 and we're going to score it on the long side. I do need to put my arm out because we are going to kind of get farther down. So I'm going to see if I can make sure I get it kind of in the whole screen here. Okay, so we're going to score it on the long side, and we're going to score it at four inches. And remember that this is designer series paper and not cardstock, so you don't want to press down really hard, or if you're using the Simply Scored, um, because you don't want to tear the paper, so you just kind of want to be gentle with it. So we're going to score it at four inches, and then we're going to score it at eight inches. I'm going to move it down to the 8 down here. There we go. And this is 8 inches. So basically, obviously this is 12-inch um, paper. We are doing this in thirds. So now I'm going to just move this out of the way. We are going to use this again, so don't put it far. Because we're going to do a little bit of cutting. So, But now that we've scored it, I am going to fold it both ways and I'm going to fold it this way too. So this is two-sided paper. You want to decide which side you want on the inside of your card and which side you want on the outside. So I want this to be on the outside of my card, this snowflake, and I want the buffalo check to be on the inside. So you're going to want to um, have your paper, whatever you want on the inside to be face up, just like mine is. This is the inside, so it's face up. And then we're, I'm, we're just gonna fold this up right here just so you can see. What we're going to do is we're gonna cut on the diagonal from this corner to this corner on this piece. So it's actually on this side, but we're gonna cut from here to here. So I, I wanted you to see because we're making a little pocket is what we're doing. So let us do that. So we're going to cut from this corner to this corner. So I'm going to lay get my cutter out and I'm going to lay it down so that the top corner is in my track right there and then the bottom which is where my score line is it's hard for you to see it probably because it's hard for me to see it. So I'm going to wiggle mine around so I get it in the right spot. It's right there and that's my corner and we're going to cut that off. So you need to move your scoring blade and get your cutting blade out. And we're just going to cut it right on the diagonal so that it looks like this. Okay. So when we flip it over the other way, it's going to look like this. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this this way. So this is going to be how our card opens up. So 
What you need to do now is you need to get your five and a half by four and a quarter inch piece. And we are going to, you can leave it folded up. So you wanna make sure that your triangle's at the bottom. This is at the top. We're just going to flip it over, put some glue on the back, and then we're gonna glue it right to our um, card base. So this one, because I'm using white for the card base, I had to choose a different color cardstock when I was doing the piece for the inside pocket. Otherwise, I would have white on white, and that would not. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So we're just going to put that right on there, just like that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is what I meant when white on white. So this piece... Well, actually, we need to make the pocket first, don't we? That would be good. So this piece, we're just going to put um, a piece of tear and tape right along this side here, just from the score line down to the bottom. So I find my tear and tape. If you have skinny tear and tape, you can use that, or you can cut this in half. Um, you can use it this wide. You just have to... Um, I like it actually a little skinnier, so I'm actually going to cut it. So I'm just going to take that off because I want my pocket to have as much room as possible. You can use multi-purpose glue. If you're going to use the multi-purpose glue, this is kind of sticky here, cutting. I probably should have cut it a little bit better. Um, you want a very thin line of glue. So you want to make sure that you put your glue right along the edge and that it's a very thin line. Now, this is fun, isn't it? They do make, um, Stampin' Up! does not make it, but they do make skinnier tear and tape. And I actually have some sitting right next to me, which I could have used. Um, but I'll show that to you. Um, it is not a Stampin' Up! product because they don't sell the skinny tear and tape. But um, you're just going to put it right along the edge. Like that. I'm going to cut that part off. I don't need that piece. We don't want that to show. There we go. And just going to kind of burnish a little bit. It keeps it or taking it, the backing off to get it off. Here. I want to come off. There we go. And then you're just going to fold it up. You are going to make sure that it's right on the edge. And that's the pocket. For our card. So these are the two pieces that are going to go in your pocket. So um, because my card base is white, I would normally do the backing piece in whatever color is my card base. But if I did that, then I would have white on white. And I didn't want that, so I picked a coordinating color, which is this basic gray. And these two... Um, I am going to put this on here first. I'm going to do a little stamping on here, but I am going to put this on here first because I like to live on the wild side sometimes and stamp glue first, stamp later, where it really should be the other way around because that way if you mess up, you can fix it easier. So these pieces just go right on top of each other. This piece is going to slide right into here, which will close up like that. And then the other pieces we're going to put on the front of our card. So we're kind of doing this card a little backwards. We're doing the um, the inside first and not the outside. So I am going to stamp this. I am stamping um, Merry Christmas and where is oh and a Happy New Year. On this one so this one will have and a happy new year stamped on it so let me get it right side up because it, upside down would not be good and I kind of got ink more than where I wanted it so hold on 
I am going to clean this off and re-stamp it because I don't know if you can see, but I have ink all around the outside there. And if I rock it a little bit, which I don't, I hope I don't do, but you never know, I could get like a little shadow there and I don't want that. So yeah, it, it is glue first stamp later is risky. So yep, you're right. And that's why I just cleaned my ink pad off so that and see this time I don't have that on there so this time I think I'm good to go so the next card we're gonna do I'm gonna do it the right way and I'm gonna stamp first and then put it down so there we go so that worked out okay got my happy new year on there so we're all good okay so this would go in there so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it inside and now we're gonna play with the front so the front we have these pieces. This is my extra piece that I was going to die cut my little snowflakes and by the magic of Facebook I can move this and guess what? Come back with snowflakes. So these are the two snowflakes that um, I'm going to use on the front and this is where we get to do something just a little bit fun except for I can't figure out what I did with it. So the stamp that comes with this, this Merry Christmas stamp, it is very long, very long. So because it has these like little curly things on the end. So this is longer than, what did I do with it? So if you have one of these blocks, you'll notice that this is too long to fit on the block. You can't even put it diagonal on the block. So this is where you get out your trusty Stamparatus and we're gonna use that. So if you haven't used one of these before, these stamps here, I'm gonna put my, I like to put my little thing underneath that makes a flat surface. Um, have, or the red rubber stamp. So they have padding on them. You can see the like little sponge on the side. So this one does not need the extra pad that comes with this because it already has some padding on the stamp. If you're stamping with the um, photopolymer clear stamps, you're going to need to put the little, there's a little black like sponge pad that goes with it. So obviously you can see that this is gonna take up almost the whole piece of paper. So I'm gonna take the magnets off the back and hope I don't get them stuck together. So I'm just going to put this right up here in the corner. And put that over there. This one right over here. I want my stamp to be, let me get it in the right spot. Merry Christmas. Hold on. What am I doing? It's going to go this way. I want to flip it over and I, I don't need to flip it over. So I'm just going to move this this way so I can kind of see where the ends are. I'm putting it right in the center. So you're just going to place your stamp where you want it. You flip your little thing down, kind of press down. Voila, picks it up. And then all you have to do is stamp it. Yeah, I like this paper too. You know, I didn't think that I would like this paper and I just got ink everywhere. Um, because it was just kind of gray and black, but it really makes very pretty cards, very ele elegant looking cards. So let's see if I can get that without getting everywhere. There we go. I have a ju very juicy ink pad. And so then we're just gonna flip it over, press down, and there's my Merry Christmas. Very easy, easy peasy, but when you don't have, this works great for this. And if you want to make a lot of these cards, you can just replace your paper, put a new one on, stamp, ink it up, and it's great. I am going to take that off. I am going to move this out of the way. I'm going to clean it off though before I forget so I don't get ink on myself later. There we go. Put it back on. Okay. So now we have our Merry Christmas. We have our silver paper and it's just gonna go get glued right on there, whoops. 
end to end so it does um, match up. So we're just gonna have a little bit showing on either side. So I'm just gonna flip this over. And a little glue on here. Now this is foil, so it is a little slick on top. So when you're first putting, um, because I'm using the multi-purpose glue, when you're first putting it on, it will slide around. So you kind of want to let it sit for a minute before you attach it to your card so that when you're putting it on your card, um, you aren't accidentally sliding it around too. So, um, cause you can see it'll still slide after a couple minutes. And if you didn't cut your paper exactly right, you can always trim it. And then this piece is just going to go right on the front of our card, just like that. So very simple, very pretty. I think it's pretty. And then we're going to add our little snowflakes on here and then we're done. This card is very, very easy and you can make three of these cards out of one. Oh no, you can make two, sorry. Is that right? Yeah. Um, out of one piece of 12 by 12. So there we go. There's that. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna put my little snowflakes on, one on either side. I am putting them on with dimensionals, and a, a, one of the little small dimensionals will fit. I don't know if you can see this, hopefully. There is a little hole right in the center of this one, and there is a little hole in the center of this one. So I am gonna put just the mini dimensionals right in the middle, and they will fit right in the middle there. And then I'm going to put, you'll see that they fit perfectly right in the middle, see, just like that. And you can't see them from the other side. So, but there is that little hole in the middle. So how I'm going to cover that up is I'm going to put one of these little rhinestone gems right in the middle of my snowflake. And that just kind of gives it a little extra sparkle and it covers up that tiny little hole. And so I'm just going to put one there. And we'll put one over here. And then I'm going to put one of these on. I'm going to take one of the bigger ones because there's different sizes on here. You can kind of see they're big and big and little. So I'm going to put one of the bigger ones on these and they're just going to go right in the middle. They're going to cover up that little hole and cover up just in case any of that little adhesive from where the um, dimensional is on there. It'll cover that up too. And there is our card. So we're going to flip it up and there's your little card that's inside. Isn't that easy? I think it's super easy. So, so easy that I'm gonna show you another one, but this other one is gonna have, um, the paper is, has a pattern on one side. That's, this is the other piece that I'm, another card that we're gonna make. There's a pattern on this side, but there's a pattern on this side that has an obvious direction on it. This is definitely up and down, so you wouldn't want to cut your paper the other direction and then your flowers would be sideways. But if you have one that's up and down like this, and this one pretty much doesn't matter which way it goes, this would be your outside and this would be your inside. And I'm gonna show you the card real quick of what it looks like. So this, so when you open it up on the inside, this is still up and down. And it doesn't matter what this one is. So you can use paper that has direction, but it can only have direction on one side. Because if you use this on the outside, and this, when you folded it up, your flowers would be upside down. So, or they would be going this way. Actually, no, I guess it would work. It would work. Never mind. It would work. How crazy me. So, anyway. But I am going to make this card too, so you can see that you can use paper that does have a direction on it. So if you want it to be right side up. So you just have to be careful when you're putting it together. So this is 
the supplies for this one are the same as they were for the other one. This is five and a quarter by 12. And the difference with this one is, is that I used a colored cardstock for the background of the card. So like this card that we did earlier was white. So when I did the inside piece, this card, it needed to be a different color so that I didn't have white on white. So this card, because it is um, Mrs. Blackberry Bliss, the inside piece, this would be your inside, can be a different, can be matching, can match what your the outside of your card is. So, whoops, I lost a couple of, got a couple of gems hanging around here. So, and for this one, I die cut some two little leaves. This is from. Oh gosh, my, my brain has escaped me. Um, the brushed metallic um, foil, and you get diff three different colors in there. There's gold, copper, and what's the other one? My brain, my brain has, has, has uh... okay, I'm gonna think of it while we're doing this. Bronze, I think is what it is, so. Um, so I die cut two of the leaves and these came from um, the stitched leaves dies um, that are still in our catalog. They were part of last year and last year, but they're still in the annual catalog this year. So I used two of the smaller ones to die cut these out of two different colors of the foil. So I'm going to leave those there. I didn't, I wasn't going to die cut them online because or on Facebook because I figured you could see that so we are going to score this paper and then cut it and we're going to make this card too because these cards go together really fast very fast so again you're going to take your paper and you're going to score it at four and at eight so we're going to score it at four first move my cutting blade out of the way and remember be gentle with your paper move my arm out Move this out of the way. There we go. So we scored it at four, and then we're going to score it at eight. Not nine, at eight. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to stamp first, and then, oh, whoops, I didn't need to put my cutter away. I am going to fold this up. Let me move this out of the way and just burnish this and then we're going to fold this one down. I'm going to burnish this and I do want this paper, this on the inside, this on the outside. So again, I'm going to cut from this corner to this corner. So this corner is the one that we're going to cut from. So you're gonna put that in your cutting track and right where your score line is, you're gonna put that in the other end of your cutting track. And I think I got them both lined up. And then you're going to cut on the diagonal and just cut that piece off so that it looks like that. Okay. All right. And because I still have my other half of my tear and tape, I'm going to go ahead, before it gets stuck to something else over there on my desk, I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. This is the inside of my card. You do want to make sure that when you're doing the inside that you have the right side up. So, and then we're going to cut this off. That's the other reason why you should make two of these so that you can use up your tear and tape and not waste it. And I'm just going to flip this up, make sure the sides are even. And there's our pocket. And now I'm going to stamp this first and then put it on. This I use, instead of basic white, I used the um, very vanilla because I thought it went better with this card than the the white the white looked a little bit stark so I went with this one 
And for this one, we are going to stamp the words, much gratitude. As soon as I find it, that's this one. And I'm just gonna put this on my block. I kind of line it up on my paper so that I can make sure I kind of get it straight. This one I'm gonna stamp in Blackberry Bliss, which is the color of my um, paper. Hold on here. Okay. And I'm gonna try and be careful and not get it on the edges. Oop. Except for I had the wrong piece of paper. Where's my other one? Oop. I'm missing a piece of paper here. Yep. All right. This one is going to say on the inside and heartfelt wishes. So I'm going to switch my stamp here. So we're going to get that right here in the middle. There we go. I'm going to have my other one inked up. I am going to have, oh gosh, I got something on my paper. Yep, on my hand. And when you do that, you flip it over. Whoops, except for that one is dirty on the other side. So guess what? I will be cutting the new piece. So now you can watch me, and I already got ink on this piece too, because I have ink on my hand. be careful. I got it right on my thumb and I stuck my thumb right on my paper and the other paper and it has a mark on the other side so we're just going to cut a new piece. So this piece is four and three quarters. I'm just going to cut it here. By three and a half. Hopefully I won't get ink on this piece. There we go. And then I was also missing a piece, so I'm gonna cut my other piece that I was missing, which is one and a quarter. It's one and a quarter by five and a quarter. I don't know why I was missing this piece in this kit. There we go. Oop, that off. Hopefully I won't get ink on myself again. So we're gonna try this again and not get ink on it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna watch my hand here. that one well I've got my ink out and my other one I'm just gonna go ahead and ink this one and stamp this one this one I do not need to use the stamparatus because this fits on here I am however gonna stamp it over on the right hand side because I want to put two leaves on the left hand side so I want to leave room for them so I stamped it all the way to the end on this side there we go Goodness gracious. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over, put some glue on the back. Hopefully not get it ink, inky again. There we go. No ink, yay. Okay, and this one is going to go, hello. Why am I missing all my pieces here? There it is, it's stuck over there. So this is kind of a, um, I used the gold color from the brush metallics. So this piece is gonna go on top of that gold piece. And this time we stamp first and then we put it together. And 
like I said, the metallic paper is a little slick on the one side, so when you're first putting your um, paper on there, and if you need to, you can trim it a little bit. Mine looks okay. You don't need to do that. I'm actually going to put this on the front first this time, and then we're going to put the whole thing together. So this one, I smear the ink again. Must, my ink must be the ink. This is going to go right here. In the front. Trying to avoid the ink because I did smear it a little tiny bit. Okay. And where's up? Oh, there's my card base. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is just going to go on there just like that. So remember, if we when we open it up, it looks like that. So I'm just going to flip it over. Put some glue on the back. And put it right on my card base. Get it lined up. That looks good. And this is my one leaf, and I've lost my other one. There he is. These are my two little leaves. I'm going to put a glue dot on them to hold them together, and then I'm going to put a little piece of um, this um, Simply Elegant trim. There's gold in there. Yes, this one is, is very autumn -y. So this one kind of reminds me of... Um, of a th more of a Thanksgiving card. So just goes to show you that you can use the same design and do any kind of season you want. So you could also make it fun, make a have fun paper and a birthday card, put some balloons on it. Um, it's be pretty on Mother's Day with some flowers. So I'm going to try to make a little bow here. Myself a little bow. Kind of trim the edges off. Okay, so I am going to put a glue dot on the back of this one, on the back of the stem. And it's okay if it kind of hangs off a little bit because the where the yeah, the bow is, it's going to kind of hide it. So I am going to just kind of attach them like that. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back now that I've got them together. So, so now that you've seen a winter one and an autumn one, you can let me know which one you like better. I kind of like them both the same myself because they look, they look very different. Um, you know, the paper is so different that they look very, to me, they look very different. So I'm just going to put that right there and then I'm going to stick another little glue dot on the back of this. Just press that down and then I'm just going to kind of roll it up a little bit on the back so that it doesn't show and then I'm going to put it right on top of where the other one, the other glue dot was and there we go. There's your card. Oops. Fix the bow there, except for we need to put our little card inside. So this is obviously the card that you can write on. So there you go. There's that one. And then this is the Christmas one. So there you go. Two cards, really easy to make. And, um, you know, it's kind of, I think they're fun to make because it really shows off our designer series paper. Um, so that you can see, you know, you get to see both sides in one card. So, and they're quick and easy, not a problem. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you will try and make one of these yourself if you haven't weren't making one with me. And you can see how easy they are to make. 
Um, and it's a great way to use up some of your paper too. So I hope you have a great evening and I will see you next week on Therapy Thursday and have a good week.